We're going to bring in Nigel Farage, former UK Independence Party leader and Fox News contributor. Good morning. Does the UK really have its arms around this problem? No, I think part of the problem here, and you know, we hear the Prime Minister after each of these attacks saying we're going to step up and we're going to put more resources in. I don't think at any stage of this that our leaders have really contemplated the scale of the problem that we face. And I think part of the reason for that is that they themselves are responsible for much of it. Well, I, I, I've been saying for some years that we have a fifth column now living within our country uh, who hate us, and want to kill us and and when I first said that about five years ago it was deemed to be very unpopular but sadly it's proved to be true we in terms of our policing numbers in this country uh, since 2010 uh, we've had quite a big cut in police numbers in this country so we've literally been getting everything wrong and short term if we use the army on the streets to leave the police freer to follow these 3,000 people and to try and get on top of this problem, uh, that it's a good thing to do. And it's an admission, not so much that we've been invaded, it's an admission that government has not understood just how serious yeah, this right. problem is. Hello. Yes, Nigel Farage is spot on. Well, nearly spot on, Mr Farage. You're getting there. You're on the right track. Your words are getting more bolder. Fifth column invaded but next time you say fifth column put alien in front of it anyway anyway uh, you're referring to the uh, fifth column the 3,000 jihadis running loose uh, here in Britain uh, you're talking about them they hate us they despise us they want to kill us you're indeed quite right in fact it's probably more than 3,000 but anyway you're also, you're missing out here a big bit. Now, I'm not having a go here. I understand how we have to tread carefully with this. But you're on the right track. Your words are getting more bolder. Fifth column, invaded. Anyway, anyway. You see, forget the 3,000 jihadis, right? And their uh, terrorist acts now uh, and in the future, no doubt. Forget about all that. Take that out the equation, in fact. You still have a million plus of their fellow brethren that if they don't want to destroy us by plotting and scheming mass murder or joining or being involved in rape gangs, at the very, very, very least, they want to transform this country into something alien and horrible, don't they? Of course they do. You see, the alien fifth column that's now here by the millions has arrived here legally within the law and within that law they are economically dispossessing us by the day anyone uh, with their eyes open can, can see that quite clearly they are also colonizing uh, the British Isles without a doubt they are driving out that's right driving out the indigenous Brits that have been here since Dick Dot thousands of years they're driving them out of their communities they're driving them out of towns and cities so this alien fifth column by the millions not the jihadis because the security services can deal with that and that will pacify the public but this bigger threat if you want to walk around Bradford and have a look at it or Gloddick and Oldham is more it's more harder to deal with and also it's more dangerous and more worrying it's more insidious because it's being done within the law. They are Islamifying Britain as I speak. More mosques, more Islamic cultural centres, more madrasas, is it? They, the, uh, the schools, like ideological Islamic schools, whatever. Um, they are colonising us, like uh, I've said before, you've only got to walk around various parts of Britain to see that. They are economically dispossessing us as well. So this bigger, bigger million plus alien fifth column is more dangerous than the 3,000 plus jihadis at the moment. Trust me, it is. But you're on the right track, Mr. Farage. You're saying the right words. Fifth column invaded. Brilliant. Brilliant. You're on the right track and eventually you're going to be pushed over. Uh, what's the word for? I was going to say over to our side, but I won't say that. You're going to be pushed to come out and speak more honestly as time goes by. Of course you are, right? Because these people, forget the 
3,000 jihadis, the million plus of their fellow brethren. They want to transform this country, if not destroy it. At the very least, they want to transform it. You need to get back into UKIP, right, and rescue it. You don't want Anne-Marie Waters taking control. She's an enemy of UKIP. They took control, the enemies of Britain and the enemies of populism, British nationalism, they took control of the BNP and neutralised it. They're trying to do the same now with UKIP. You need to get back in there, Mr Farage, or start your own party. If you love this country and you fear for its future, then you know what you have to do. Okay, thank you.